Yo, what's going on, guys? As I mentioned in my last video, I'll be looking at Fun Fun or Fief. Um, personally, I'll be calling her Fun Fun because that's what I'm used to. I think this would be the first time I'm actually doing an in-depth video on her. Um, I haven't really looked at her due to the fact that I knew that she was going to get a buff due to the um, balance patch that came out on the 15th. So now we'll be looking at her now. As you already know, she's a light Harvin heal staff user. She's the GW character for light, one of them. And people hate her. Well, used to hate her. Not as much anymore thanks to her buffs. But still, a few people still hate her. <laughs> uh, her Ogi is removes one buff effect, so a dispel. Also, she does hit to dark attack and multi-attack rate. The hit to dark attack and multi-attack rate you get upon leveling this character to five star. Uh, the one thing about her dark attack is that it goes above the 50% attack cap. If you did not know in this game, there are debuff caps, the debuff cap being 50%. Her debuff goes above the cap, which is pretty cool. Her skill one, Sun Sign, restores all allies HP. I believe it's a 4,500 heal. Um, that's with no heal nodes and stuff like that. Also, it does revitalize effect, which revitalizes at the end of the turn, it heals you. And if you're at full health, you get 10% Ogi Bar. Also, it gives you a boost to the new buff that it got is that boost to attack based on how high your HP is, which is strength. Um, it's really good. It's a 30% unique mod. So if you're at high health, uh, I believe you have to go below 60 and then it'll drop to 20%, I believe. I think I may be wrong about that, but I'll, I'll type it in chat uh, in the description if I'm wrong. It had the nice uptime, uh, three turns uptime and a five turn cooldown, so it's pretty good skill. That's her pretty much her bread and butter. Her skill two, Blessing of Light, re uh, removes all ally debuffs. This is one of the only all ally debuff removing skills in the game. I believe there's one other one, so it's really good. Also, it boosts it to your debuff resistance. Um, I.e. it's kind of like Veil. The only difference is that this lasts for three turns opposed to Veil, which is a one-time hit. So if you keep getting debuffed back to back to back three times in a row, this is better than Veil. But if you're looking to only use it for a one-time thing, Veil is a little bit more superior because uh, Veil will already be up. This you have to like know the boss. So that's the one thing. That's the one difference between this skill and Veil. Reincarnation, uh, so back in, like, say, a week ago, <laughs> this used to give auto-revive to your team, one, well, one, auto-revive to one player, and, um, now it still gives auto-revive, but it also gives, uh, attack, defense, double attack, and triple attack buff as well. The attack and defense, the attack is a 30%, uh, modifier, the defense is a 50% modifier, uh, and the DA is 20%, while the TA is 3%. That TA is very low. Um, I'm not too happy with the TA, but whatever. I, it's a buff. Mainly, you want to give this buff to Song as she needs this the most, as she usually will be the one that has the lowest multi attack rate besides Fun Fun herself. But if you have the ultimate staff, then Fun Fun should be fine with her multi attack rate. Though I do wish they made the TA a little bit higher. Oh well. One thing I will mention though is that. Uh, you can no longer stack the auto revives with this character. You only get an auto revive that lasts 15 turns. After that, your auto revive is gone, which is kind of sad face. Her skill four is a revive all allies, restore it to full HP, and grants guts effect. Um, one thing I would note is that if your character is already dead, you do not get the guts effect. As it gives guts first, then it revives, and then it heals you to full health. Her support skill is a massive boost to debuff resistance, um, so you're less likely to get hit by debuffs when you have fun fun. Only her though, and it also overrides any skill ceiling debuffs, so you most likely can clear anything that hits any any one of your characters anyway. Also, she gives a lesson dark damage for all allies, which is pretty good. So combine that with her ability to go above the attack cap with for dark enemies, um, makes dark enemies do no damage to you really, which is really cool. Anyways, let's get to a fight with her. Okay, 
So as I told you guys before, I like to, I'm going to start changing up the boss that fight. Um, this boss I kind of forgot within the game. Lich, uh, I actually completely forgot that he's in this game. <laughs> it's been a long time since I fought him. I brought Amra because I need multi attack rate with this team. She's, I'm not really showcasing her, but I guess you can look at her too. <laughs> she definitely got a good buff now. I, I can already tell people are not going to like the fact that I'm using Fun Fun's voice, but uh, oh well. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> uh, so it's a little bit obnoxious, but hey, my voice is getting much better. I can't complain. Oh, uh, we got unlucky there. The one thing about this team is that it doesn't have much multi attack rate. So I was kind of hoping for to have a multi attack right there, but oh well. I was kind of hoping Song to not hit Paralyze early on, but she did. I'm not really, I don't really need Paralyze, so it's not that important. You can still tell that they hit really hard with the Shrink buff. So it's not that bad. As you can tell on the side now, I am, I'm putting my characters with their EMP skills and their uh, ranks. I think people may want to look at that. Um, I don't know if people care about that or not. If you do care, tell me if you think it's not that important and you just don't want to see it then I'll probably remove it it's been a long time since I fought this boss I don't remember what it does exactly I think it has some gimmick with like like apply light defense down or something it's been a long time since I fought this uh, What I like about her revitalize is that combined with this team, you get a lot of meter. <laughs> like I think you get 26 at the end of each turn. It's kind of a lot. You'll see right here. It's it's, pre it's pretty ridiculous. And if they triple attack, you end up getting like 70 or something. If <laughs> that's the problem though, if they triple attack, which is almost very rare. So yeah, 26, I'm running getting 32 because he gets the uh, faster charge bar speed and demon mode. Oh wait, it's still triggered. Oh, I guess Paralyzed ran out. I definitely like her automatic counter, it's pretty cool. The reason I cleared there is so that I can have full health with the um, Revitalize to get my um, Ogi back fast. Apply that again. I feel that animation is a little bit different than it used to be. I could be wrong, but I feel like they changed the animation on depravity. I don't remember it being like that. Though it's been a it's been a while, I guess. But I do feel like they changed it. I'll go back and look at it not too long now after this video. I do feel like they changed it. Like something felt off when I used it right there. One boost to Amara is that she gets 100% bar now, which is kind of insane. Because so he can Ogi really fast and spam Ogi a lot. This is really cool. That's probably my, my favorite buff about her is that her skill 2 gets her like 100% now. So you're more likely to, to get her Ogi off. We can try to paralyze again, I guess. I don't think Paralyze is going to hit, though. Yeah. Did, did I not do damage? Wait, what? Huh? I didn't see numbers. I'm so... I am so confused. I don't know what this boss does, either. I think I hit with some debuff weakness. I, I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> what's that? Oh, can't attack. It's like, it reminds me of the forfeit um, debuff. You keep that in mind. To be honest, the last time I fought this boss was like, um, I think when Bahamut first, Ultimate Bahamut first came out, and everybody was like hyping up Ultimate Bahamut, the hosted match, and they were farming this boss for a hit. Uh, what just happened? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I, I don't know what just happened, but Kaylin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just instantly knocked out my character. Good thing I had an auto revive, right? I was not expecting that at all. The one thing you see here that the team does lack multi attack rate. It does get a lot of Ogi, but um, the lack of multi attack rate is definitely something you gotta worry about. If I had the Ultima Sword and Light, it'd be a little bit better, or Ultima Staff, but I don't, so. So that's how you gotta take the, the, the loss. Also, this is a debuff that I've been hit by, and it instantly knocks you out, but it's not that important because I can just do that. Fun Fun is really good when it comes to stuff like that. If I'd known early, I would have saved her debuff, but I didn't know. <laughs> I can tell why people are find her a voice a little bit to be much. <laughs> but hey, man, <laughs> you guys just deal with it, I guess. Yeah, don't worry, it, it won't be that bad. It won't be that long. I think she gets the dragon on her full limit break. I don't know the lore for that dragon, but it's whatever. <laughs> I don't know how she gets a dragon. I, I would like to know, kind of, but <laughs> I don't think we'll ever find out. I'm a little scared here, so I'm going to save her auto revive. Let's see what cat is going to get hit by death. I think, I think somebody's going to get hit by it eventually. Oh, no, it's not death. What's this? Corruption? Oh, it's the one that gets the light defense down? Okay, yeah. I believe this light defense down goes above the cap. Because every time I would, like, do this boss, he would take a lot of damage after this. Yeah, see? Fun Fun doesn't usually cap autos. So, he's taking a lot more damage than normal. And we'll give her buff the song. At this point, the boss becomes a joke now. Uh, it doesn't really do much. Corru uh, corruption or whatever, whatever the attack was called. Uh, doesn't do that much damage. It's not a pushover attack, but it's not something to be worried about. Do you see that I don't really cap autos normally? Oh well. It's, it's not bad. It's not awesome either though. If you're wondering why I brought the Ultima, it's mainly to increase their Ogi cap. Um, only cap that really benefits from the Ultima here is my main character. So that's kind of bad. But... Nothing we can say about the element. Like, there's not much synergy when it comes to the characters and their weapon skills. The only thing you really run is the staff, as it's the most viable option here. But whatever. We were able to hit Paralyze, so the boss should be dead in a, in a few, I hope. You see that she got instant 100 back really fast. Since the boss didn't break, we're not going to get 100 back from the scale 2 again. But I, we don't really need to get 100 back instantly. I believe she gets up to 60 when the boss didn't break. So long as we get to like around 40, it's an instant. Reset. But we should get a hundred from this, the OEs. Yeah. This part is really nice because it works really well with the team spamming OEs. Probably my favorite part about this team. Like you see right there, Song went from 26 to 100 in one turn. So, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, transform her. I definitely like the team a lot. I wish they had more multi-attack rate, but other than that, I have no complaints. Well, I guess my complaint is the multi-attack rate, but yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to use Revitalize. 
Re low key revival is probably the best ability about this. Just getting the um the Ogi is really nice. The strength buff is good as well, but the Ogi is what you're really looking for with this team. Okay. We didn't get a hundred on our main character, sadly, but we don't really need it. I forget how long Paralyze is for. It's a pretty long time. How much time we got left on Paralyze? We still got 20 seconds on it, too. Well, 18, but... Yeah. Guess we won't be able to kill it from Paralyze. I didn't want to do a full chain. I'm usually against doing full chains if I can avoid it. While full chain may be more damage sometimes, um, it's kind of annoying being locked in. Sometimes it's better just to auto to avoid the full chain. So now we got here at corruption. It's been a while since the boss was able to attack actually. If you're wondering why my uh, fun fun heals so much, it's from her um, EMP skills. That's where she's getting most of her heal from. I believe the boss has about 240 million health, so we're not going too slow. It could be a little bit faster, though. The lack of multi-attack rate is really hurting us the most. You can't really do anything about it unless you have Ultima main hand, though. Which I do not have for light, so this is really is your best option. Yeah, it should be dead next turn. I think he'd probably be dead this turn if I, uh, if I use Kaguya. Actually, no. No, it wouldn't be. No. They don't Ogi enough. Maybe if it's a different element, though. You see that Fun Fun lasts a little bit in the damage department. Probably because she's a heal type. Without the light um, attack up and the, the buff from the Ultima, she doesn't hit nearly as hard. Song is more of the hard hitter because her EMP skills are more damage based. If you're wondering about that. As to why Song does more damage than Fun Fun. Even though they're both are now buffed by Ultima. It's mainly because of the EMPs. Well, but that's a Lich. Um, that's Fun Fun in a nutshell. You know, I, she's not a bad character. I like her a lot. Especially with her skill 1. But you definitely need an Ultima in Light to get the full benefit out of this team. I don't have one, and I don't plan on making one as of yet, unless um, there's a better Ultima or a better main hand for Light and Earth, uh, well, for Wind and Earth. We don't have enough Ultimas in this game right now, so I can't really make more. It feels bad, man. Anyways, if you liked the video, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you guys. Uh, I'll be looking at Octo and Earth maybe next. Either that, or I may look at uh, Six and Dark. Um, leave in the comments which one you care more about, and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for watching.